A Roma Zuka Lounge, what's going on, everybody? How are we doing tonight? Wow. I did not expect that. I think that was all the comics. Thank you so much. <laughs> Your next comic coming to the stage, he's actually one of the funniest, in my opinion. I love this dude. I admire his writing style. Put your hands together for my man, Darius Culpepper. Guys, I'm so happy to be here right now, y'all. I really am because I love doing comedy, y'all. But it's like when you pursue comedy as a career, like you don't really make that much money. So, like, basically, I'm broke, guys. And it's like I can't afford to date like regular girls, like, bro, because like regular girls, they like to go out to eat and they like to go to the movies. So, like, I can only afford to date girls who are on house arrest. Yeah. <laughs> bro, that's messed up. Like, for real, it's like when you date a girl who's on house arrest, you don't have to worry about taking her nowhere. And you don't have to worry about buying her jewelry because she already has an ankle bracelet. <laughs> so it really works out. And another good thing about dating a girl who's on house arrest is that when you get into an argument with her, you can walk out of her house and she can't follow you. <laughs> she on house arrest, so that's like... But basically what I'm saying is, y'all y'all know I'm broke if I can't afford to date a girl who has freedom. That's like, it's, it's messed up is what I'm saying, y'all. It's messed up and it's tough being broke, guys. It really is. And this is how I came to the conclusion that I'm broke because I'm the type of person that would get somebody a gift card and tell them that they have to put their own money on that gift card. <laughs> For real, I'd be like, here, this is a do-it-yourself gift card. Enjoy. Like, it's, 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 just, it's just sad, y'all. It really is. because white people ask interesting questions. Because like the other day, me and one of my white friends, we were watching this scary movie and he asked me the age old question. He was like, dude, you know how in scary movies, the black person always dies first? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, what if a scary movie had an all black cast, who would die first then? So I replied, the killer. <laughs> <laughs> For real, because like, if you put a group of black people in a scary movie, it's not even a scary movie anymore. It's just Django Unchained with a bunch of Django. Like, that's, that's all it is. That's all it is, But you know what, though, y'all? Since y'all are so cool, I just figured I could tell y'all this. I watch a lot of movies, and like, my favorite types of movies are like superhero movies. And sometimes I wish that I had superpowers, like I really do. And this is what I wish my superpower was. Like sometimes I wish that like I could turn white people black just by touching them. I do. Because then black criminals wouldn't even need guns anymore. They could just walk up to a white person and be like, hey yo, give me all your money or I'm gonna turn you black. Like, <laughs> uh, scary thing you can say to a white person. Right? <laughs> White people just be like, you know what, just just take it. I'm just, just gonna leave, just take the wallet. It's sad, but it's true, y'all. It's sad, but it's true. But I've been noticing lately that it, it, there's a lot of racial tension in the world, y'all. It's a lot of racial tension. And the reason why I say this is because, like, the other night I was at this party and I was trying to talk to this white girl and she thought that I was trying to steal her purse. And I was like, baby, I'm not trying to steal your purse. Like, I'm trying to steal your heart. Aww. Necklace. I want a pawn in it. <laughs> I don't have no money. I need need something, you know. Like, but I had on a ski mask, so she couldn't tell who I was. <laughs> I had a ski mask. And, you know, just a side note. If you know anybody that lives in South Florida that owns a ski mask, just assume they're a criminal, because it's like it's, you know, it's, don't snow, man. Like, yeah. Don't snow, man. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's crazy though. A lot, a lot of crazy stuff goes on in my life, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of crazy things. Yeah, yeah, like, like, I've been, been finding out some very astonishing things, some things that have really been amazing to me. So on the internet today, I, I found out that they are actually gonna make an African American version of the movie Fifty Shades of Grey. I was, it was amazing, and they're gonna call it. 50 inches of black. <laughs> For real, it's gonna be the only 3D movie that you don't need glasses. Poke <laughs> you right in the eye, so yeah. <laughs> you, have to, you have to go and see it with one eye open. And, uh, and, and basically, what I'm saying is, y'all, uh, sometimes comedy is a lot, y'all. Sometimes it's a lot, but I, 
I love doing this though, y'all. This might be a little slow night, but like I, I still love doing comedy. This is my passion. But the crazy thing is, it's like a lot of my friends and family, like they don't really think that I can make like a financially stable living from doing comedy. But little do they know, based off of comedy alone, I was able to move into a beautiful one-story Toyota. So, um, <laughs> So with that being said, y'all, party at my place after the show. If y'all interested, just meet me in the parking lot. <laughs> She's also my front yard. <laughs> Shoot, we can just go from there, man. We can just go from there. Shoot, I, I think that's my time, y'all. My name is Dave Parker. God bless y'all.